Today is the day I'm gonna rank every cereal known to man. And make no mistake, this list will upset you. One second. Inside this box is literally every cereal I know of. Yeah, I might've missed a few, but this is most of them. Look, I'm a big cereal guy. They call me Mr. Cereal. Everyone in my family just kind of loves it. We'll just be sitting there scooping entire handfuls into our mouths like there's nothing wrong. So I got the tier list here. We're gonna rank them from S to F, S being the best, F being the worst, and uh, we're gonna piss some people off in the process. So let's get started. Cheerios. This is a very, very inoffensive cereal. No one has bad memories with Cheerios. And that's why I think it's an easy, like middle of the road baseline. You kind of judge every other cereal based on this one. Also, I feel like it's pretty healthy because there's a fucking heart on the front. Easy, decent cereal. We are gonna put this one at a very fair C. Honey Nut Cheerios, the best installment of the Cheerios franchise by far. It's sweet, but it's not so sweet to the point where you feel bad if you eat like a lot of them. Plus, I like the mascot. He's a honeybee, bees are endangered. You get my pity vote. This cereal is a solid B. Apple Cinnamon. These aren't like bad, but I don't really consider them good either. I feel like Cheerios is at its best when it's either Honey Nut or regular. This is kind of like, I don't know, why wouldn't you just eat Apple Jacks? It's all right, C. Frosted Cheerios. It's at this point in the Cheerios franchise that uh, Cheerios starts pissing me off. Cheerios just needs to stay in their fucking lane. If you want to make a sugary cereal, be my fucking guest, but don't call it Cheerios and put them in a heart bowl. That's just disingenuous. I'm not a fan of Frosted Cheerios. I think this is a D. But this isn't where my frustration ends with Cheerios because fucking chocolate Cheerios exist. I cannot put this any other way. Chocolate Cheerios suck. Not once in my life have I eaten a fucking bowl of these things and thought, wow, I really like the decisions I make. They always taste stale, strangely warm tasting as well. Just listen, Cheerios, you're a boring brand. Continue to make boring cereals. Chocolate Cheerios fucking E. Don't like these at all. All right, moving on from Cheerios, Lucky Charms. This is a fantastic, fantastic cereal. You know, they say you have to have lows in life to uh, truly appreciate the highs, and Lucky Charms is just the perfect embodiment of that. You know, you got the brown pieces, which objectively are the lows because they suck, but then you get the marshmallows, and that completely makes up for it. Sometimes I'll get a bowl of Lucky Charms, and I'll just try and pick all the brown pieces out first, just so that last spoonful is just full of marshmallows and milk. Oh my fucking God, I love it. boy, Lucky, you got my vote. You are an A. All right, Reese's Puffs, or as dipshits would call it, Reese's Puffs. Look, let's all just stop pretending this isn't candy for breakfast. This is candy, it's candy. Reese's Puffs are candy. And whenever I eat a bowl of these in the morning, I feel like shit. This is not a cereal you eat in the morning. This is a cereal you scoop out of the bag at like 11 p.m. on a school night. That's where it shines. Also, those fucking commercials are ingrained into my head. R double E S E S B to the U double F F S, this is a C. All right, let's do Captain Crunch now. At its core, I think that Captain Crunch original, the red one, is a very, very solid cereal. Captain's also pretty hot. I'd let him crunchitize me any day of the week. Captain Crunch, B, peanut butter crunch. This is how you do a peanut butter cereal, Reese's Puffs, take notes. I don't need to contract diabetes just because I want a good cereal. Peanut butter crunch, A. Oh, crunch berries. Jesus Christ, this cereal is fucking immaculate. Wet or dry, this cereal fucking slaps. Captain Crunch Crunch Berries is the first S, baby. God, I love this shit. That was fun. That was fun. We had a good time with Captain Crunch Crunch Berries. This is what I have a fucking problem with. Oops, all berries. What, are you fucking kidding me? Oops, all berries? The berries are good, but this shit came out in 1997. Captain, you've had fucking 30 years to correct the mistake. Why is it still oops? This was no mistake, Captain. You know exactly what you did. F. The fuck? All right, we're moving on to the next franchise, Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies is a classic. And similar to Cheerios, I think it's a decent cereal. You know, it crackles when you put the milk in. Haha, <laughs> fun gimmick, I get it. But this is a boring cereal. Rice Krispies, C. Now I'm getting angry again. Frosted Krispies. What the fuck are you doing? Homie, you already have Frosted Flakes. Kellogg's already has Frosted Flakes. What the fuck do you need Frosted Krispies for? Again, like the cereal isn't bad. It's just the idea behind it. If you're gonna make a sugary cereal, do it. But don't put these fucking pricks on it, all right? Frosted Krispies, D. Here we go again, Cocoa Krispies. It's the same shit. I don't even need to open the box. D. Look, let's keep going with the chocolate cereals. Crave. 
I, I love Crave, okay? But it's it, just like Reese's Puffs, this is a cereal that you can't eat and then feel good about yourself later. Crave is not a cereal you eat when you want to have a productive day. It's simply not, because it's candy. That being said, it's good. I put Crave at B. Also, it's one of the best tasting cereal when it's been sitting in milk for like 15 minutes. <laughs> Cookie crisp. I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this. I, I just don't like it. That's it. I just don't think it tastes good. I think Cookie Crisp is a fucking E. If you want cookies for breakfast, fucking eat them. Don't be a pussy and eat Cookie Crisp. Eat real cookies or eat these. Oreo O's. I have very few words to say about Oreo O's. Apart from the fact that I, I just, I just don't see a reason why cereal needs to taste this good. It's fucking delicious. I prefer this to actual Oreo cookies. Could have been a little more creative on the name, but hey, it gets the job done. Oreo O's, emphatic S. I am so, I'm terrified to look at the nutrition label. Okay, Cocoa Puffs. I, I, don't, I don't hate Cocoa Puffs. I just think they're a little too much. You pour these puppies into a bowl, you put some milk in there, you're drinking fucking Nesquik in five seconds. I'm giving it a C. I'd suggest Crave or Cocoa Pebbles instead. All right. All right, here we go. Cocoa Pebbles are the good version of Cocoa Krispies. B. Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles are the good version of Trix. I said it. I don't like Trix. Which brings me to Trix. Trix is the shitty version of Fruity Pebbles. You want a fruity cereal? Go with Fruity Pebbles. Fuck this stupid ass mascot. He's like the dollar store version of the fucking thing from Cocoa Puffs. Silly, Silly rabbit. rabbit. Trix are for kids. kids. Exactly. Because kids can't tell what good fucking cereal tastes like. Fuck you. Frosted Flakes. This is another one I just don't get. Kellogg's literally took a cereal that they already had, added more sugar to it, gave it a tiger mascot, and thought they could get away with it. The cereal is underwhelming dry and just straight up bad when it's wet. Also, Kellogg's, don't think we missed that commercial where Tony was complicit in police brutality. Frosted Flakes, D. Not a fan. Finally, something good. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is one of the few cereals that has a ton of marketing money behind it that actually tastes good. When you leave these in milk for too long, they get a little bit soggy, but even then, I'm not too upset to eat them. Only reason I'm putting these at B is because there's a better version available. French Toast Crunch. I ate the whole box. <laughs> I thought I could get away with opening it and waiting for the rest of the cereals to arrive. Uh, I couldn't. I ate the whole fucking thing. I'm a sucker for maple syrupy cereals. This cereal is an easy A, but it gets better. Oh my God, the Eggo cereal. This is another maple syrup tasting cereal that is just fucking delicious. The smell of it is just... <laughs> God, it's, it just smells so good. Ever since Waffle Crisp decided to just fucking vanish, I've been looking for a cereal that could rival it, and this is that cereal. I will always pick pancakes and waffles before cereal. I always load up on the maple syrup, that natural fucking maple syrup from Vermont, wherever the fuck. This stuff is the next best thing. Probably my favorite cereal of all time, S. <sighs>
not too tasty. But then fucking Kellogg pulls up with this, which are fucking coated in sugar. You get those pieces every now and then, and that's enough. That's enough to make me happy. I'm a fan of these. I'm putting them at B. I'm gonna run through a bunch more cereals that I don't care too much about. Apple Jacks. I remember the commercials for this cereal more fondly than the actual taste of it. Apple Jacks, C. Same deal with Fruit Loops. If I want a fruity cereal, I'm going with Fruity Pebbles. Also, low key, Toucan Sam, kind of a pretentious jackass. C. Here's another one, Pops. These were by far the loudest fucking commercials ever. Another C, Kicks. Kicks is fucking kicks, all right? I think they taste slightly better than Cheerios. Very easy to munch on, but again, not too crazy about it. Kicks are a C. Oatmeal squares. Oatmeal squares are boring, but in a good way. The guy on the front's also kind of cute. This one's another C. Golden Grahams. Look, I think Golden Grahams are good. They taste like graham crackers. You mix some marshmallows in there, I think you got a winner. But otherwise, I think this is a B. I feel like I remember like a s'more cereal with Golden Grahams, but I could be wrong. Honey Bunches of Oats. I think Honey Bunches of Oats is the best tasting healthy cereal. The spoonfuls you get sometimes with the really big ass pieces of granola on it, always the best. I'm putting Honey Bunches of Oats at B. <laughs> oh my God. It's really a shame that they don't sell O's in more places. I can't really consider this a healthy cereal, but they always advertise that there's like good things in the middle. That's bullshit. There's fucking crack in the middle, okay? This is one of the best tasting cereals I've ever had. Easy, easy, easy S. Honeycomb. Honeycomb is a loud cereal. They're always like, they're, they're, they're just, it's just big, right? The box is fucking huge. They they advertise like the biggest weekend. I don't even know what the, that, that wasn't even, I didn't even plan that. The cereal itself is fucking huge and it's good. I'm giving Honeycomb a B. Get it? A B? <laughs> Quisp. What the fuck is Quisp? That's the question most of you are probably asking yourselves right now. Well, Quisp is one of my favorite cereals, not just because it tastes good, but because of the lore behind it. You can really only buy this cereal for like $10 a box on Amazon. I have no idea where else to find it. It's in the supermarket like once every other year. Why don't they sell it more? Who's this asshole on the front? Why did Quaker give him a speech impediment and make him unable to pronounce CR, canonically revealing that the real name of the cereal is actually just Crisp? Why's the box been like unchanged for 50 years. And why does no one know what it is? I love Quisp. It's good. It's a good fucking cereal. Buy some. Quisp is an A. Quisp is a good cereal. It's basically Captain Crunch on steroids. <laughs> oh my God, Count Chocula. This is, this is just bliss. General Mills only sells this shit during Halloween. And I'm not lying when I say that it is one of the few things I look forward to in October. It's just a better version of Lucky Charms. Who knew that replacing the shitty brand pieces with chocolate pieces would be better? God, I love this shit. Count Chocula, fucking S. I just realized Fruity Pebbles has been sitting down here the whole time and I already rated it. Fruity Pebbles, B. The fuck is that? Grain berry? Grain berry with onyx? Onyx Sorgum? What the fuck? It's fucking gray! It's gray! The cereal is gray! Well, that's the video. That is my tier list of every cereal I know. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you agreed because remember, you can't like a content creator unless you agree with everything they say and do. This tier list template is in the description if you wanna try it out for yourself. You can tweet your results at me, insult me, whatever the fuck you wanna do. I'm challenging Ludwig and Connor Eats Pants to do this tier list with their own opinions and uh, let me see what you got. Thanks guys for watching and I have some shit to clean up.